Alright, so in this part we're going to be making the windshield, the windows on the side, and the uh, uh, like window at the back. So for the windshield we'll need the guide mesh again, because we have uh, the shape of it on the guide mesh. So I just copy that, and I'm making a new collection to uh, put all the like glass in. So I just cut off everything around it, um, take the windshield shape, and then once you have that, apply the uh, shrink wrap and then get the shape to kind of fit, uh, bring it in slightly so there's like uh, an edge and then add holding loops um, to uh, make sure the solidify modifier looks crisp on the edges and then where it curves on top you can uh, you can join those three vertices uh, to make it smoother and less uh, rough or sharp Yeah, just tighten the edges so they're like you know crisp looking and then for the side uh, I went to the guide mesh and I took the outline and then I deleted everything that I didn't need so and then I joined the, uh, the tip at the back um, near, near the windowsill and I joined them up to where the glass is and where the bodywork isn't so there's no uh, guide mesh on this part so I just faced everything up uh, like the best way possible so that uh, none of the faces were stretching. Um, yeah, so I lined everything up so the, sh uh, the faces would be more evenly uh, spaced out and the, the rectangles are a nicer size. And then the same thing, uh, make the edges a bit uh, crisper. And then I added two edges in the middle because the window kind of curves itself out. So I scaled along the um, active element by selecting um, one of the edges as the active element so I could give it uh, a bit of a curve. And then you just keep going uh, and then making the edges uh, tighter so that it fills in the frame fully. And here I joined the three uh, uh, vertices up when after adding the holding loops because it keeps the curve uh, of the geometry before. And there's a cut between the two windows, so what I did was I just took the knife tool, I drew that cut, and then I beveled it, and then I added holding loops for when I cut it out, and then I just cut that, um, that section off. And then just in every view, look around and make sure that it fills the, uh, the window hole perfectly. And then for the back, I did the same thing. I went to the guide mesh and I took the shape, um, adding it to the uh, collection. And then I face it up to the point on the uh, blueprint where the glass starts and finishes. So yeah, I just face it up um, to be like a grid. And you can see in the blueprint that in the middle it does curve up. So just try and line that up as well. And then the grid uh, looks pretty nice. Uh, it just needs to get that curvature. So I just brought it up by hand, um, lining it with the blueprints, and making sure it looks good from every single angle. I noticed that as uh, some of the edge loops are warping a bit, so I deleted them to add them back later, so that the curvature would be the curvature would be smoother. And then you once again add the um, the holding loops, and then just line everything up to just where it looks nice. And then everything I added a solidify modifier, this one a little bit thicker than uh, the bodywork, uh, 0 0.005 I think. So yeah, I applied that to all of them, and then that's pretty much it for the uh, windows.